My first memory of a sickle cell crisis would have to be maybe when I was like five. And uh, I had it real bad in my thighs. Imagine being five years old, you know, you can't walk because your thighs are, are hurting. It's like being tortured from the inside out. It felt like a sledgehammer being swung at my hip or something like that, you know, and it's ongoing. The suffering that patients have to deal with every day, it's amazing to try to even think about what a single day in a patient's life is like. You know, trying to deal with the constant pain while trying to think or work or try to function normally. Our mission at the University of Illinois is to take care of the people that are underserved. And sickle cell disease is often a disease that affects people of underserved communities. And our mission has been to try to reach out to these people, try to help them get this equal access to care. University of Illinois Hospital is the place to come if they have sickle cell because they do have a comprehensive sickle cell unit. And there are doctors that care about their patients here. We have specialists that are now focusing on disease complications that are specific to sickle cell disease. But also now we have um, an opportunity to give um, people stem cell transplants without using any chemotherapy. This helps minimize the toxicity of, of the transplant. A stem cell is something that um, helps make all the different kind of cells, but also can help self-replicate or renew itself to keep its own numbers up. The donor donates the stem cells just like a blood transfusion. The only difference is that for when they donate, they have two IV lines placed. Um, and then for the stem cell transplant part, it's just like a transfusion. It's, a, it's an infusion that takes about 60 to 90 minutes. In order to get the cure, you have to have four siblings. You have to have a match. Desmond, we have the same sickle cell, but his is like kind of worse than mine because his sickle cell affected his organs and stuff like that. You know, and Clifford, my older brother, was a match for both of us. I've been cured for about a year now. Being born and living with something, you know, all your life, you know, bearing the cross is something I lived with and I was prepared to die with. So it's like I was just feeling this, this overwhelming emotion that I can't put into words. All those days in the hospital, all those nights crying, seeing my mom crying, my grandma crying. So to receive this cure, man, we're extremely blessed. Over the past couple of years, we've started to see um, better ways to transplant patients, and this is something that offers people a chance to produce their own round red blood cells and helps prevent the um, progression of the sickle cell disease. We're already working on our next step, which is to try to expand uh, bone marrow and stem cell transplantation to people who have um, a half match or a haplotransplant. transplant. And I strongly believe that we can eradicate sickle cell. It might take a few decades, but I believe we can. This suffering for 25 years, and then it is being taken out of nowhere. Why me? Out of everybody else in the world who could have got cured, I'm the one who got cured. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to run with it. People want to know about it, about the cure. People want to know about the disease. People want to know about the transplant, sickle cell. I'm going to tell them to the day that I die. Julius was part of this new wave of hope, knowing that you know, science is slowly advancing and there are things that we can provide slowly to um, patients. The therapies and the progress in stem cell transplantation is, um, is skyrocketing now. We have a lot of different therapies to offer here. It's a very exciting time globally, but I think also here at the University of Illinois, it's um, an extremely exciting time. <laughs>